<laughs> I have to take advantage, you know, email for a couple of hours, it's like a blessing. Back in 79, the first time I, I came to Mendocino, there was no email. <laughs> How did we do? No iPhone, no fax, just a pen, paper. I had my car, my kingdom for a car. It was a dark, dark purple with a white roof. <laughs> and I remember I left Mendocino, I had to make my way back to the East Coast and I stopped in Reno. And as I, I stopped in Reno, I wanted to stop at a traffic light. And the pedal was just all the way and the car didn't stop. That's very strange. <laughs> And um, the next day I went to a garage and he said, you have no more brakes. I said, yes, thanks, I know. <laughs> uh, but in fact, no, I mean, you have no more brakes. Well, where do you need to go, he says to me. I said, well, I need to go to Boston. <laughs> How much would it cost, I asked, you know. Oh, $200. I can fix them for $200. That was the price of the car. <laughs> I said, that's, that's not possible. I cannot spend that money, you know. He said, you know, how sad a, a young French guitar player dying in a car crash, you know, but that's your call, he said. I said, are you sure that this is so bad? He said, no, just don't use them. I said, well, this is my intention. I'm not going to use them then, you know. So, you know, I was 21. And so I didn't know better, but I knew something. I knew that on a motorway in America, you don't need your brakes. <laughs> and I was going to do mostly motorway, you know. And then I took a hitchhiker. He spent two years in jail, and he was on his way back to Des Moines, Ohio. So I said to him, I'm sorry, I need to see if you have a driving license, because I need to be there at this time. And so I will need you to help me with the driving. He said, oh, no problem. This is my driving license. And I said, oh, there is another information I need to tell you. Do not use the brakes. He was fine with that. There were two of us, you know. And I did not use the brakes. And I remember the garage attendant, Ireno, said to me, when you will be in Wyoming, you are going to drive at night. Watch out the antelopes. Okay, watch out the antelopes. What about the antelopes? Oh, because they love crossing the road. And we just don't use the brakes. <laughs> I said, I, I, I will not use my brakes. It's okay. So I drove all this time waiting for an antelope to cross my road. And I was sort of fantasizing about the antelope. How does it look like for me to start with? I never saw an antelope, never seen an antelope in my life, you know. And then the night goes by. The night goes by, daybreak. My hitchhiker is, is sleeping and I'm driving. It's beautiful, Wyoming, beautiful. And all of a sudden, a mother antelope crosses the road with her baby. In fact, no, sorry, she's not crossing the road. I am crossing her road, sorry. <laughs> so I'm crossing her road and she's not. And I just have the time to do whoop. That's it. <laughs> what do you need brakes for? 